Chiskel's alliance is attacking me right now. He is coming in, attacking my wall. The wall is already on fire. Okay, Chiskel's alliance already breached my wall. One second, one second in, and you can see in the top right corner, he's got more troops coming in. I don't know what's happening here. The War of the Kingdoms between My Kingdom 385 and Chiskel Gaming's Kingdom of 386 has come to a conclusion. And as you can see by these results, things, you know, things did not uh, necessarily go according to plan, okay? So today we're going to go over everything that happened. Now, the War of the Kingdoms is a KVK game format here in Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. And unlike KVK in other city builder games, this KVK is one versus one that's right one kingdom versus one other kingdom and it only lasts for 24 hours but there's not a special kvk map no you get to teleport into the other server and attack players on their home turf and vice versa now during this kvk event you can take their capital cities you can zero their farmers or you could stay in your home kingdom and defend the enemy invasion and this leads to some fast paced and really awesome combat and war I wish other games would implement this type of KVK format because it was a lot of fun. So the first thing I did to prepare for KVK was unlock tier four troops. Okay. As you can see here, these are my Royal infantry. I have 90,000 of them already. And if you look closely, I actually used a massive training expansion because I wanted to train as many of these Royal infantry as I could. I am an infantry main player here in game of Thrones, and I thought it would be a great idea. Okay. To have as many of these troops as possible. Now you're going to see later in the video, why this was actually a massive mistake. But one thing that I'll tell you is that it is really expensive to train tier four units. And it's also really expensive to heal these units if they end up in your hospital. So there's a little bit of foreshadowing there for you guys ladies and gentlemen but yes i spent a lot of resources and speed ups training as many uh, of these tier four units as i could because i knew that we were going to be going to war in just a couple of hours and as you can see in the top left corner i broke over a hundred million power for this kvk and i was number five in my server in terms of power so i was looking to do a lot of work here and as it turns out kingdom 386 the enemy kingdom they had significantly less power than us as a kingdom in general however power isn't everything as the outcome of this kvk suggests and also time zones ended up being a pretty big factor because since this kvk is only 24 hours long when kvk first opens is pretty much the most important time of the entire kvk and a lot of the players in my alliance are from russia and a lot of players in other alliances were in different parts of the world as well so a lot of players that were really high in power in our kingdom were not online at the moment that kvk started and unfortunately some of these players did not use a peace shield before logging off what that means is the enemy kingdom could teleport into our kingdom and start to zero some of our really powerful players so by the time that their time zones lined up for them to play the game they would log in and discover that kvk was already underway and they had already lost a significant amount of their troops and power and resources and all the things that you need to perform well in kvk and then kvk began and i teleported right into the enemy server 386 as you can see here in the top right corner and it was at this moment that Triskel was live streaming on YouTube so I thought I had a nice little advantage here because I could see the location of his city and he was actually the king of the kingdom he was one of the most powerful players in their kingdom with about 130 million power so I knew that I probably shouldn't be hitting him directly because I have less power but as long as I could keep track of where he is then perhaps I could contest other zones while he's busy doing his own thing and when you teleport into the enemy kingdom they put you randomly on the map so without me streaming he would have no idea where I was unless he manually looked through the entire your map and it's a very large map so there would be absolutely no way for him to find my city unless my random teleport was really unlucky and it just landed next to one of his alliance members but luckily as you can see here i'm just in the middle of the trees next to a beautiful lake and honestly the game really it really looks beautiful now of course king's landing is the most important city on the map you can see here right in the middle here chiskel surrounded by all of his allies so my plan here was simple i found chiskel city and now i was going to wait i was going to wait until he teleported into my kingdom of 385 because there is a 30 minute cooldown on transferring between the two kingdoms it was my understanding that Chiskel was the biggest threat in their alliance
alliance and so as soon as he left i was going to teleport into the middle of his hive and start to zero a lot of these weaker players that were unbubbled it would be free kills easy kills for people that maybe were offline or just didn't know what was happening but as you'll see in a moment things did not necessarily go as planned and just for reference Chiskel was sitting at 139 million power at the start of this kvk and here I'm looking around the hive it's it's quite a big hive and I feel like there's a lot of free kills to be had here so I was getting pretty excited for the attack I was just waiting patiently now of course I was in communication with the king of my kingdom the Levi and as soon as kvk started Levi actually took their king's line right away because there wasn't anything in there there was no garrison or anything so it was at this point that Chiskel actually went and took it back they sent a couple of armies there and kvk was underway and we have a solid 10 points under our belt boys that was uh that was sick now i just want to point out here that while i'm watching this hive i'm mostly focused on Chiskel, who's right here in the middle a nice bright blue teal city okay uh, and one of the things that I didn't realize was this player right here, which unfortunately, uh, his name was blocked for me. Turns out this player's name is buggy. Who's also an extremely powerful player in Chiskel's Alliance. The good news is that as I'm watching the hive here, you'll notice that buggy city disappears. He teleports away. So, Hey, great news. One of their most powerful players is no longer in the hive and we're back to just looking at Chisco city we find buggy over here attacking casterly rock making sure that they can keep this uh this city for themselves okay and as we move over here boom there he is buggy 767 okay bada bing bada boom we're looking pretty good back to the king's landing hive and Chisco is gone his space is empty so my patience here has paid off as you can see my kingdom has over a million points already we're doing really well another member of my kingdom has already teleported into their hive right next to king's landing which is good here i'm looking at some of the players power there's 12 million 10 million no big deal and bada bing bada boom i took your boy chisco spot i just teleported right into the middle of their hive and this was the my shot okay i decided i'm going all in i used uh, an attack buff i used an army expansion okay so here we go we are going to start slaying the smash squad and as you can see here my first attack was a victory easy peasy okay i knew that these players were uh, one tenth of my power or one eighth of my power so i wasn't too worried about this at all so i was just sending out armies i was sending out my primary army i was sending out a secondary army i was sending out just random stuff okay and unfortunately for me as i was in the heat of the moment uh, i did not realize the gentleman who teleported in right here why didn't i not know that because his name is literally blocked by this by this little icon okay and the hive there's so many things going on right now okay my adrenaline is going I'm I'm in the middle of enemy territory here I'm thinking I gotta be fast I want to zero as many people as possible okay kvk just started and look the the points here have come basically neck and neck which is which is not good okay so I'm sending out my army I'm attacking people and this gentleman tel teleports in I have no idea who it is I'm not paying attention because there's 40 other cities around that I'm trying to get, attack before they put on a bubble okay and so that's what's going on here uh I think at this point this is okay actually this is actually when I use my my army enhancement I didn't actually need it for the other players anyway they were 10 million power not a big deal doesn't really matter okay I wasn't even scouting these players uh because they were such low power and then all of a sudden I get an emergency aid supply hmm that's really weird why would I be getting a bunch of resources from the game for free I wonder why that could be as it turns out if you take a look in the uh bottom right corner here you can see that I'm actually under attack and I click on it I don't see anything not a big deal uh but there are troops going back to the city and I'm not really sure what that's all about but it's not a big deal right I'm sure people are just scouting me and attacking me because I'm in the enemy territory so it's fine it is what it is I send out my army it looks like there's another incoming army here I'm not super worried about it I'm attacking the other player boom we get that W no big deal my army is marching back uh and then as it turns out one of the lords that I captured gets released and I'm like okay I, I thought I was supposed to be capturing lords not losing lords but hey it, it is what it is okay not a big deal here uh, and I'm looking at other players and I'm thinking oh oh uh oh uh th there's there's your boy okay there's your boy I click on a city and I finally realize who it is and this gentleman by the way 180 million power I thought Chisco was the the number one thing that I had to worry about as it turns out this player is significantly stronger than Chiskel, had more kills than Chiskel, and he was paying attention to to what was going on at the hive. So while Chiskel went into our kingdom, this gentleman Buggy stayed back and started defending his hive. And at this moment, I realized that I perhaps had made a mistake. 
okay and as i'm trying to figure out what is going on what 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 is what is currently happening right here okay i'm getting attacked by this buggy player and i'm like uh oh that's that's the big boy right there that's that's the big boy all right so i'm looking at my at my uh, chats things are happening in the kingdom and i just want you to notice something right here okay i'm down to 91 million power so i've lost about 10 15 million power right now i wasn't really paying attention to that to be completely honest with you guys by the time i'm done looking at chats literally 10 20 seconds later we're down to 77 million power so i've lost 30 million power in like 30 seconds 60 seconds something like that i don't even know what's happening at this point and at this point i'm looking at my shelter i'm like oh maybe i'll just put some troops in there as it turns out i'm already out of troops boys okay i knew what i was supposed to do i was supposed to put the troops in the shelter but it all happened so quickly because i didn't see that that man's name on the on the map there that it was gone it was over it was too late okay my soldiers were they were already either in the hospital or six feet under and look at that man look at this healing cost this is ex this is crazy this is a crazy amount so now i'm panicking now i'm like okay i gotta leave i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what just happened but i gotta just move a little bit far away so people don't know where i'm at so i teleported a little bit off screen okay uh and here i just use my diamonds to heal i healed down everything uh and that was probably a mistake okay because i only gained about three million power there and then i teleported to the northernmost part of the map just to gain my uh my bearings just to gain an idea of what happened just now so i can understand what i should be doing next because i just lost a lot of troops so let's go over some of this together okay the first gentleman that i attacked thorski okay i had a thousand deaths he had a hundred and twenty eight thousand deaths pretty good okay i lost 90k he lost five million uh so i straight up took his lord popped off basically we do we just absolutely destroyed this player okay so i was feeling good when i first teleported in next i attacked teflon smoke here i lost eight thousand of my troops we're getting we're getting wounded okay we're getting stuff in the hospital but no big deal we can heal those down i lost about half a million power he lost over three million about 3.47 million power i'm feeling good about this boys i'm feeling good i teleported in we started doing work okay we're getting kills we're filling their hospital it's sick then we attacked burn okay and this was a much smaller player i probably should not have attacked this player at all it wasn't really worth it to be honest with you we got over 5,000 deaths i lost one troop and put one in the hospital literally one troop one in the hospital didn't didn't matter at all and while i was attacking this burn player okay this was this is what i showed you before buggy attacked me okay uh and as it turns out th th that my man hurt okay it hurt because if you look here at the timestamps, I hit Teflon smoke and burn at the same time, which means I had my best army and my second best army out. They were out of my city, which means the city, the, the, the commanders that were on my wall to defend my, uh, my, my, my troops here were, um, were complete garbage. Okay. They were complete trash. You could see by the levels. You could see by the rarity. These are grays and greens against his golden troops, his golden commanders. All right. This man was coming in on steroids. All right. Now, good news for this first attack uh, is that there were no tier fours in my city. Okay. So I did lose quite a bit of troops, 14 million power. Very, very bad. But at least none of them were tier four. Okay. Then we hit uh, Knight Nevitz. Don't really know what that's all about. We lost 11K. He lost 2 million. So I'm feeling good about this. I thought we're popping off here, boys. Then we see uh, yet another attack coming in from Buggy. And at this point, I had one of my armies was back in my city but i also had some tier four units in the city not looking good for me okay and remember i had mostly infantry and look at my wall uh, one infantry uh, commander here not a great strategy okay because all my infantry were out attacking other players i lost almost healing in power not that crazy this one is what sealed the deal okay this is the one that sealed the deal he lost half a million i lost another 14 million man i lost another 14 million and this is where i had uh you know at least some sort of a garrison but i i had all tier four infantry so let's take a look at how this played out dude chiskel's alliance is attacking me right now he is coming in attacking my wall and uh you can see here that the wall is already on fire okay chisco's alliance already breached my wall one second one second in and you can see in the top right corner he's got more troops coming in i got i don't know what's happening here i didn't even realize that this was happening and you can see that we did not fare so well okay he's lost only three percent of his units and i am already down to zero getting hit by a player like this one time is devastating getting hit by him three times essentially crippled me for the rest of the kvk almost 400 thousand 
dead tier four units even if i got a resource donation from a ton of people in the kingdom these are not in the hospital they are in the ground so naturally i tried to train a couple of more troops but remember what i said earlier i spent a lot of my resources training troops before kbk so i actually didn't have that many resources left to retrain more troops i did not expect to lose you know 400 000 tier four units in one second okay and so we're back up to 88 million power and so it was at this point that i decided okay i'm gonna lay low for a little bit okay it's things are getting a little bit crazy i just made a massive error maybe i should focus a little bit more on taking their capital cities okay with the little amount of troops that i have left at least i'm more power than a lot of other players so if i teleport in most of their kingdom probably will not want to fight me unless just shows up or buggy or somebody of a similar caliber to that and it was my understanding that they only had maybe i don't know five players that are my power or or higher so i figured okay you know no 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 big deal and as you can see here we've got uh players from my kingdom just teleporting into other hives and basically doing work okay so we're popping off as a kingdom uh we're trying to you know have a fighting chance here but the chaos was was quite crazy as you can see here the point breakdown has significantly changed because remember as all this is going down just goes in my kingdom okay attacking our players attacking our cities and we did not we did not have as many bubbled players unfortunately as they did i decided to teleport in here and participate in the fun okay so we are we are back we're, we're attacking these players and i decide i gotta you know i gotta make the best use that i can of the troops that i have left i'm gonna just start attacking some of these players unfortunately these players were already zeroed before i got there this guy had barely anything in there anyway and then guess who shows up here okay guess who shows up right on my coattails it's your boy buggy okay now luckily he hits my city okay he hits the city while my army is still out you can see it marching over here so i only have like one army's worth of uh troops left so he hits my city then i bring my troops back and i decide to basically random teleport away as soon as they get here okay so he's trying real hard to hit me and uh i'm boom i'm out of here i'm nope not doing that again okay i know what come i know what happens next okay so he uh he did he did do a little bit of work to my wall here okay 45k not really a big deal i'm i'm cool with that i can handle the 45k it's not a big deal for me so then i decide okay well i'm just gonna start hitting the capital cities because it looks like the you know the, the smash squad is going around just zeroing players particularly looking for me i i suppose at this point uh and i decide okay well i'm gonna take sun spear because this is all the way in the southern part of the map they don't know what's going on okay i'm just gonna teleport down here by the time they realize i take it then uh i'll be gone i could just i could just dip okay so i scout it there was nothing in there boom i steal sun spear there's mines now okay uh because they i think they took my sun spear in our kingdom so i was like you know what it is a fair trade then i'm gonna go ahead and take it back and i decide you know what I'm not going to leave my troops in there because I have no reinforcements. And if I leave my troops in Sun Spear and someone shows up and attacks it, I get more deads. Okay. And I can't afford more deads. So I'm just going to take it, leave it without a garrison and hope that they don't realize it for a little bit. And we can start to accumulate some points. Meanwhile, Chiskel had the same idea that I had, and he was teleporting into the hive of our King's Landing, uh, and basically zeroing players from INV, which was the, uh, you know, the most powerful alliance in our kingdom. So he basically, we, we had the same idea, same strategy there. There, okay and things are going pretty well for him as you could see by the uh by the points that that well you can't see it on the screen right now but you know as you can see in the moment they have significantly more points than we do so that was unfortunate 35 million to 76 million so definitely not off to a great start in kvk and just to be clear we're only like 40 minutes in the kvk at this point okay we're like 40 minutes in we've got 23 more hours of this all right and i've already lost a significant amount of my troops basically all of them so i find this little hive here and i just was like you know what they basically have no power anyway i'll just come in here and just you know scrape up a couple of free free kills free points so i could feel good about myself okay unfortunately all i got from these guys was a little bit of resources okay they've got no troops no troop loss no troop loss here we got a nice little chunk of resources which was cool this dude had uh some nice gold here so i took that which was nice and then i teleported over to high garden because i thought okay well if they go take back sun spear at least i can come over here and i can take high garden so i scouted it i knew i could defeat whatever was in there the person who was garrisoning it decided to bring their troops back and so i'm off off to the races we send out the troops and we go ahead and we take it okay there's no one here to stop me there's no one here to contestant so bada bing bada boom we occupy the great city it's lit at that point the 30 minute timer was up so i decided to go back to my own kingdom to see if i can maybe 
defend my alliance hive or maybe you know take sun spear or do something important here because at this point i think just actually found the hive of of my alliance and so things were getting you know a little bit uh, a little bit crazy back in the home kingdom so we teleported back here i decide to scout our own high garden so we can take this back because this random alliance took it no idea what was going on there we send in the army and uh things are things are looking pretty pretty spicy here okay so we've got two of the enemy players over here pretty strong they're they're zeroing my my alliance okay now just to be clear okay I sent a mail before kvk the king of the kingdom sent a mail significantly before kvk and there's also an event countdown 48 hours before kvk even starts so there was no reason for people to not be bubbled if they knew kvk was starting okay now a lot of players are bubbled as you can see black lessie this is an experienced player in my alliance so a lot of people knew okay yeah let's bubble up but uh, a lot of people didn't know which was unfortunate and they ended up getting a, a little bit clapped here okay they got a little bit clapped there's a lot of bonfires going on anyway chiskel goes and finds srg which is one of the other most powerful alliances in our kingdom and he's doing work there to some of the players that were not bubbled unfortunately and as i'm looking around the map trying to get an idea of you know what's going on here uh you could see this little this little red shiny attack marker happening right here i didn't realize bt kelly teleported right next to your boy he told he was right on top of me i was just trying to listen man i was just trying to do some research do some intel i didn't think anyone would i didn't think anyone knew where i was and i thought buggy was still in the other kingdom right i didn't know i had to worry about this dude too okay 125 million this dude would have been a threat even if i didn't already get clapped by buggy but unfortunately uh, i feel like i'm fighting all the whales here okay and that maybe that's my fault maybe i'm just trash at the game i don't know but i thought i was over here in the woods man i was over here in the sticks i didn't think anyone would uh, it turns out that they were paying attention i ended up taking the city bt kelly teleported right next to me uh and unfortunately i got my cheeks clapped again so here he comes my wall already crumbling because i've already suffered the attacks of the almighty uh smash squad before and here comes his uh his army here and you know we've got some troops but unfortunately he's got he's min maxed here he's just all in on infantry i've just got the leftovers of whatever happened to be in my hospital that i could heal down a lot of them were tier tier three units versus here tier, his tier fours so not only does he have just a better army there's more of them and it just doesn't it's just not looking very good uh for for your boy here okay now i did have a decent garrison so there's no excuse there i just there just wasn't enough power left in my city to successfully defend against another 100 plus million power player here so uh i lost about 7 million power from this attack which was another devastating blow to my account which i, I mean I, hey it, you know it is what it is it, it didn't it did things were not working out here for this kvk okay so we've got uh for me 56 000 deads we basically filled the hospital once again i killed 20k of his so that's nice but uh certainly he had way more troops to lose than I did anyway and that really crippled my effectiveness for the rest of kvk to be honest with you because at that point I was fighting with a very lean army I I knew that I could defeat anybody who was probably 50 million power or 60 million power and below I knew that I had a really solid chance of winning but I figured the only way that I could perform well in kvk was to teleport around and hit those types of players and take cities with the one troop or the one army that I had left and unfortunately uh that army was now uh, extinguished essentially by uh young man bt kelly over here so um yeah it was really unfortunate that we didn't have so we didn't have a lot of our wells online for the beginning of this kvk because maybe i would have been targeted a little bit less or maybe i should have just been better at the game <laughs> So for the rest of kvk i tried to just stay under the radar you know hit some of their weaker players take a couple of the cities when nobody was watching and that was pretty much the the extent to it now if we take a look here at the rankings obviously buggy coming in at number one uh he got you know he took 30 million of my power right off the rip so you knew he was going to perform really well bt kelly also one of the players that i you know did not realize I, that i had to pay attention to i was so focused on just that i i got clapped by some of their even more powerful or as powerful players uh king landy over here you can see the leaderboards were pretty much all 386 except for atu over here who actually was not present at the beginning of kvk it would have been uh, probably a game changer um if they were or maybe he was i actually don't remember i, I could have sworn that that they weren't but so we could take a look at the leaderboards here you can see i scroll through we see uh, a lot of 386 where am i i'm rank 40 okay tons of players from honestly from both from both kingdoms in the top 20 i would say uh and i think we did pretty well at the end of the day um 386 had a massive lead at the beginning but you can see here that it ended at 520 to 778 so 
definitely closer than I thought it would be at the beginning of KVK Kingdom 385 fought back tooth and nail did really well honestly um to make these points so close compared to what they were at the very beginning but unfortunately we did take the L as for the server rewards uh there are diamond mines that appear on the map for 24 hours after KVK so if you win the KVK you can get up to level five diamond mines which is definitely one of the more premium currencies in the game uh and if you lose you still get diamond mines but only up to level three for 24 hours there's also some other bonuses here like you gain more uh, resources back when you're the victor versus the loser but either way even if you lose you still get a lot of really nice rewards here. there's also solo points so depending on how you specifically performed on disputing the cities or eliminating enemies or gathering resources even you can gain a bunch of free speed ups and resources and a lot of really good stuff to progress your account so it's really important that you participate in these kvks because not only do you get free stuff for this you actually get all of your troops back as you can see here after the kvk was over there's a list of all the troops that you get back so i got back all my tier tier fours tier threes tier twos and tier ones that were slain by uh by chiskel's alliance by the smash squad so my first game of thrones winter is coming kvk is in the books it was a lot of fun it was cool to see that chiskel was the enemy of this i didn't actually know that going in i knew that chiskel and i both were playing game of thrones at the same time but i knew we were in different servers and kvk matches you up randomly against other servers around you um so it just so happened to be that chiskel was the enemy which was cool of course this video is sponsored by game of thrones winter is coming and if you haven't tried the game yet i have no idea what you're waiting for because because it actually was a lot of fun there's gonna be a link in the description below make sure you download the game it's free give it a try especially if you've watched game of thrones i think you'll really enjoy this game it's a great city builder while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace